By now, you're familiar with the name James Houston IV, a.k.a. The Problem. But do you know his story? Let's get on into it. You got to lay it brick by brick. You got to stack them days, man. You got to want it for yourself. You got to want it for your brother. And, that, and that's real. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody in here got a chance to go to that next level. After his junior season, Houston became a sought-after prospect. We're talking about a three-star, highly ranked in Florida, 26 offers, an absolute monster of a player. He attended American Heritage High School and was coached by NFL standout Patrick Sertain. Yes, yes, he's the father of Patrick Sertain Jr., Did you know that even though James landed at Florida, he did not play his senior season due to tearing his ACL? Now, if the school American heritage sounds familiar to you, it should. They're an absolute hotbed for NFL talent. During this time at American Heritage, Houston played with Patrick Sertain Jr., Brian Burns, Tyson Campbell, Khalil Herbert, Anthony Schwartz, Marco Wilson, Brandon Johnson, and to Daryl Slayton, who are all NFL players. Yeah, needless to say, it's a lot of talent in Florida. Now, ACL tear would typically cause recruiters to back off, but not on Houston. They saw the potential. At the end of his senior year, Houston still held 26 offers. And we're talking about offers from everybody. Florida, Wisconsin, Arkansas, Auburn, California, Clemson, Florida State, Kentucky, LSU, Maryland, Michigan. Everybody wanted the 6'1", 220-pound linebacker. But Houston decided to stay close to home in the 10 UF. As mentioned earlier, Houston did tear his ACL before his senior season. So coming into college, he had to deal with that. And during that freshman season while not playing, he would experience his first piece of adversity. As a young player coming in, you typically look to the older guys for direction, leadership, because that's their role. They're supposed to show you the way and help guide you on your journey. But Houston didn't necessarily have that type of veteran leadership around him. The high school injury coupled with an off the field issue involving his teammates and himself Now, when something like this happens, you have two choices. You can stay, face the consequences, and work your way back, or you can run and transfer. Houston decided to stay. He would return to the team in 2018 and put together a three-year career, mainly as a reserve, where he accumulated 100 tackles, 10.5 tackles for loss, 4.5 sacks, three forced fumbles, and a block punt. After not receiving the playing time that he felt he deserved, Houston would enter the transfer portal. And that's where everything changed. With Deion Sanders, aka Coach Prime, becoming the head coach at Jackson State, Houston would decide to join the team and have a historic season. With established linebacker Keontae Hampton and an emerging Aubrey Miller Jr., The coaching staff actually approached Houston and asked him to switch positions from middle linebacker to edge rusher. Now, while he did not like it, it would prove to be a pivotal point in his NFL journey. His long arms matched with his natural ability to bend, disengage a tackle and attack the quarterback is something the SWAC hasn't seen in a long time. Over the course of his one season at Jackson State, Houston would accumulate 70 tackles, 52 solo, 24 and a half for loss, 16 and a half sacks, one interception, seven forced fumbles, 10 quarterback hurries, and two fumble recoveries. Yeah, he absolutely filled the stat sheet. This matched with the publicity that the school was receiving helped Houston garner the attention of NFL scouts 
everywhere. During the postseason bowl games, Houston shined, whether it was at linebacker or edge rusher. He showed that he has the ability to play either position, standing up, handing the dirt, or rushing the edge. And we all know, the more you can do, the more likely you are to get drafted. During the draft process, Houston would measure in at 6'1", 241 pounds, hand size 9 in the eighth, arms a whopping 34 in the quarter. Man, I done figured it out. After all this time, I figured out how James Houston gets inside of all these offensive tackles, keep them off of him, throw them to the ground, do whatever he wants. It's his superpower, bro. 34 and a quarter inch arms to go with an 82 inch wingspan. Bro, the man has the wingspan of a person who's six foot eight. That's crazy, dog. Like, stop. Don't play with him. Don't play with him. If you don't draft him, you're going to pay. That boy going to make you pay. A 82 and the eighth wingspan. A 4.6 40 yard dash. 10 foot, 5 inch broad jump, an insane 39 inch vertical, and put up 22 reps on the bench press. After all was said and done, Houston received a draft grade of 5.80, which suggests that he would be an average backup or special teams player. But not James Houston. Not the problem. In the sixth round of the 2022 NFL draft, pick number 217, the Detroit Lions would select. James Houston IV out of Jackson State University. He finally made it. The dream was now realized. He'd made it to the NFL. What more could a college player want? But yet again, Houston would be faced with some adversity and have to overcome it. After what many on the outside would consider a stellar preseason, James Houston was actually cut. And he had this to say. When they first cut me, it was like, okay, I'm clearly not there yet. That was kind of like an ego check for me. It allowed me to humble myself and it allowed me to just put my head down and go to work. This mindset would pay off as he was later signed to the Lions practice squad. So far at every turn, when most players would quit when faced with adversity or not getting what they want, Houston consistently rises to the top. As they say, cream often does. In week 12 versus the Buffalo Bills, James Houston made his NFL debut. And what a debut it was. In the 25-28 loss, Houston would rack up two sacks in only five snaps. And this was the beginning of a historic rookie season. And after that first start, Houston wouldn't look back. Over a seven-game stretch, 140 total snaps. Houston would accumulate 12 tackles, 11 solo, 7 tackles for loss, 8 quarterback hits, 1 forced fumble, 1 fumble recovery, and a whopping 8 sacks, putting him in the conversation for Rookie of the Year. His 8 sacks only trail one other rookie, teammate Aiden Hutchinson who accumulated nine and a half while also playing 958 snaps. If you do the math, projected over a 17-game season, playing the same amount of snaps, Houston possibly could have had a run at the NFL rookie record. Held by the freak, Javon Curse, which is 14 and a half sacks. This is just the beginning for the problem. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, cut day out.